mushroom clouds snake skyward, hurling the atom's deadly radiation high into the heavens. What do you think? What? I'm doing the reaction that's on the screen. Piece of iron. If we look at it closely, we'll see that there has been some oxidation. If we zoom right in here. A little bit rusty. See that brown spot there? That's rust. Okay? Fe2O3. So that's happening right in front of your eyes, and the exothermicity of that reaction happens to be oh, about the same as burning methane. It's releasing the same amount of heat as burning methane. But I'm not going to compare this reaction to burning methane. I'm going to compare this reaction to this one. First of all, look at the delta H values. They're about the same. Okay? Minus 830, minus 850. So you look at them, you say, well, oh, they're probably going to go about the same rate. Eh, wrong. You can't relate the rate of a reaction to how much heat is being released or absorbed by the reaction. They have no bearing on one another. So I'm going to demonstrate that second reaction for you. Not sure where to do this. Yeah, I'll put it here, I guess. Plastic. <laughs> okay. Well, first I'll bring this over to the camera and show you, show you what I've got. See the reaction? It's Fe2O3, iron oxide, plus aluminum metal. Makes aluminum oxide plus iron metal. So the iron gets reduced. The aluminum gets oxidized. It's a redox reaction. The oxygen just hops from one to the other. So let's have a look at this stuff. What I brought with me is a mixture of very finely divided iron oxide and aluminum metal. Hopefully, that's what this is. Hmm. Can't see the aluminum metal. Somebody else made this for me, so I'm assuming they did a good job. And what I'll do is put it in this crucible here. Yeah, well, we're going to find out. It doesn't work this time. I'll bring it back next time. So very finely divided. It's like flour. It's so fine. And you can see that not much is happening. I don't see any reaction going. don't see any heat being evolved. should be 836 kilojoules per mole. Well, we've got to give it a bit of a kick in the pants. So I'll, you'll remember magnesium wire. This stuff burns in air. <laughs> Let's call it a fuse, shall we? And I'm going to put that in here. Like that. I'm going to put this in the sand bath here. Okay. This is actually a lot more fun when the lights are out. I'm trying. There we go. Ooh. Fire extinguisher. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Can you guys see? I'll just move it closer to this fellow here. How's that? That good? You might want to just take one step back. Sorry. You might just want to keep your feet tucked under your chair. There. Okay, so, exo. <laughs> Is it the pressure of exams? So, exothermic reaction. And then we'll get an even more exothermic one when we burn the magnesium. That gives you a very hot flame. Remember how a white flame that is? And then when the magnesium burns down into this mixture, it'll give it enough of a kick in the pants to get it to go. So there goes the magnesium. Fire in the hole. <laughs> and there goes the main reaction. That's a good thing to move. Okay, now I want to get my tongs here. Remember what one of the products was? It was iron. That's molten iron. Oh, cool, eh? Well, it's not quite molten, but it's still red hot. It just it totally fried the crucible. It's a porcelain crucible. Uh, that was molten iron. It actually got hot enough. It released enough heat to liquefy the iron. I can put this. Ooh, that's, even the bowl is warm. I can put this under the camera and show you. Ooh. Cool, eh? I mean, hot. Whoop. There, so this porcelain crucible is toast, but that, that piece, of iron is, piece of iron is still glowing. There was so much heat released from that. But it's exactly the same amount of heat as is being released by this. <laughs> A few burn marks in the chair, that's okay. 
So how could it be that, that that thing, which is still, I can still see it glowing red here, has the same exothermicity as the oxidation of these iron tweezers? Well, it's because this, rea this reaction is going very slowly. The reaction that you saw there went very quickly. It went in a matter of seconds, so all of the heat that it released per mole of iron oxide being reduced was released in a very short time, so the temperature had to go up very quickly. These things are being oxidized exceedingly slowly. The total amount of heat released by oxidation of a mole of iron is 800 and something. The total amount of energy released by the reduction of a mole of iron oxide is 800 and something, but this one's going slowly, that one's going quickly, so they appear to be very different. 